Well, holy shit. Man, what a way to wake up on the first Saturday of July. Well, apparently the Clippers, yes, the Los Angeles Clippers, have made some big-ass moves, moves during this offseason. <laughs> I figured they might get a couple of players and all that. Yeah, I know. I'm a Lakers man and whatnot. And the Lake and let's not forget, the Lakers have managed to make some noise by getting in the Anthony Davis trade. So the Clippers figured they're just trying to do something that is never seen before. But no, they didn't do but man, they did something something truly, truly big. The Los Angeles Clippers have picked up not one but Two big name players, players for two different teams, and we're about to do it right now. This one is actually pretty big, and it actually came as a soccer to me. Kawhi Leonard, the the player who helped the Raptors win their first NBA championship. In franchise history, has now decided to sign with the Los Angeles Clippers. This was a big one because while he was announced a free agency, everybody was wondering where he's going to be going, where he wa who's going to be going. Would he sign with the Raptors? Would he go to the Lakers? I mean, heck, nobody thought the Clippers would he'll pick the Clippers, but well, there you go. They actually picked them. This is actually pretty good, and his contract. And the signing of his contract was God, man. He managed, he signed a four-year, one hundred and forty-one million dollars. Oh yeah, this man is going to get paid like a fat rat. I mean, no, no surprise, man. I mean, I respect Quiet Leonard. I mean, after all, this motherfucker is, has been is a goddamn baller. And the fact that um the Clippers picked him up, that means. The Clippers really want to make wants to uh, replicate what happened in um, what happened in Toronto. So who knows? Maybe this might be the year the Clippers will might make it to the NBA championship and win another championship, thus um, giving a big fat fuck you to their older brother, the Lakers. So yeah, I mean, damn son, I mean. Here, this dude, that truly deserves a damn son. But that's nothing compared to the next player they picked up. This one is a actually a pretty big one. Yes, Paul George, a.k.a. PG-13, has is now the newest member of the, of the Los Angeles Clippers. This one is actually pretty shocking because, you know, Kawhi Leonard wanted to get him, wanted, was recruiting for him. And so the, um, and so the, the Clippers managed to pick him up. Now, we don't know what his contract's going to be with the squad, with the team. But I do know one thing, they did gave up a shit, a uh, shitload in this trade. In the trade for, for, uh, for Paul George, they traded away for five first-round draft picks to OKC. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I don't. To be perfectly honest, I don't blame him for getting uh Paul George, man. Because if you think about it, if you really want to think about it, it it makes sense that they would play for a team and not be being uh, stuck around on a team where the only focus on the team is a glorified stat stuffer in Russell Westbrook. Whose only, whose only name to fame is the man tr averaging triple doubles every other, every other night during the regular season, and and to be bounced in the first round of the, of the playoffs. Playoffs. So yeah. This is actually pretty good for Paul George. So, yeah, man. This will be big. Man, the Clippers are really, really making some serious noise now. I mean, having those two big name players, man. Shoot, who knows? They might win another. They might win their very first championship for the first time in franchise history, just like how the Raptors did. But we'll see what happens. As for the Lakers, despite the fact that they didn't get uh, Kawhi Leonard, they did get a consolation though. They picked up Danny Green for a two-year deal. 
two year deal. So that might help him in the three in the three ball department, but we'll see what happens. All in all, I see this year's uh, NBA seat, regular season is going to be pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Until next time, this is Darkshot Two K Seven, aka Sonic Sky Sator, signing off. See y'all later. Sell the fucking team, Dolan. No, seriously, sell the fucking team, you bum back. Yo, seriously, now you think you can go toe to toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I wreck your world. Thank you, fuck you, bye, boom.